Hey, today we're going to do some more fan art, this time of one of my favorite video game franchises, Uncharted. Specifically, Nathan Drake. Let's get started. So I start off with a sketch in blue and create what I like to call Ugly Drake. After that, I'm going to tighten it up with some red and then go back over it again with blue. Most of my drawings are just me stacking red and blue colors on each other until I get something that I convince myself is good enough to ink. I'm using a lot of teeny tiny lines and cross-hatching in this project. When I ink this way, I'm usually trying to emulate the pulp art of Virgil Finley. Now, I never actually take it to that degree of detail because, let's face it, that's an insane amount of work. But that's where my mind goes every single time I ink. Now that we got some more solid line work going in, he's starting to resemble normal Drake instead of, you know, ugly Drake. Speaking of faces, I ended up being halfway between Drake's fortune and a Thief's End Drake, which, you know, it's fine with me. So for a stubble, I basically used the airbrush function, used a couple of different brushes, and came out with a combination I'm pretty happy with. Looks pretty effective. For his hair, I basically just used the eraser and carved out where I wanted the light to be. So a big Virgil Finley influence coming back with how I crosshatch the wrinkles on the shirt. It's time consuming but I like the way it looks. Eventually I did get lazy and just start popping in spot blacks wherever I wanted, but as they say in the art world, whatever. All right, so now I'm gonna start popping in the background. I wanted something, but not something so detailed it'll take away the focus from Drake in the foreground. When I start laying down colors, I like to use the airbrush tool. It's got a soft edge and it's not quite as strict. And yes, while working in a digital medium, I can just undo whatever I don't like, but I don't always want to have to do that. And the airbrush gives me that freedom to play around and make choices. The coloring process on Drake is heavily inspired by the poster work of Drew Struzan. Now that's a, it's a rather ambitious and quite lofty goal, and I in no way shape or form achieve that goal. But you know, it's nice to have dreams. So at this point, I realized that some of the facial features could be in a uh, more correct position. So I used the warp tool and fixed that up. After that, I head on to working on the background. Which turns into a forest-like group of shapes and lighting. Which seems to be my go-to when I'm not quite sure what to do with the background. Before I'm finished, I mess around with the lighting a little bit and try out a bit of a border. Pretty happy with how this one turned out. Yes, he doesn't have his trademark ring, but there's a good explanation for that. I forgot about it. Anyway, what do you all think? Who's your favorite video game character? Let me know down below. Just remember while you're down there, everyone's opinion is valid, even if it's wrong. Thanks for watching.